Alright, Shalom, Markim Shalom. Hey, Yahweh Shemel Shai, broke a thumb to my dear brothers out there. You let them on the sisters worshiping Yahweh Bar Shemel Shai in spirit and in truth. Our praises to Yahweh Bar Shemel Shai and double honors to the true elders, the true apostles of, of the nation of Israel, man. And you can see through integrity who's sticking 100% to the doctrine through fear. You can see who your real um, leaders are. And uh, the apostles of Great Millstone, show sure enough, they got that spot, man. Now, the Heavenly Father, this, this in transit, man, I've been thinking about how the Heavenly Father is going to vindicate us from all you other camps. You know, that's what the Heavenly Father going to do with us. He's going to vindicate us through all your slander. You know what I mean? Because here it is. You guys get mad because we, we reprove you in a doctrine. You guys get mad at us. And the way that you reply to us is by slandering us, by going into our personal uh, information and our personal lives and trying to ruin our livelihood, you know, trying to ruin our reputation. When simply all we all we ever brought up charges against you guys is the things you go off in the doctrine with. That's it. But you played the childish game. You played the, the elementary school game by going into brother and personal information, personal lives, um, ruining our reputation, talking about the grape doctrine, the grape doctrine, you know, and that we're grapist. The most high y'all but shimon shah gonna vindicate us, man. So when you look up the word vindicate. It means to when you look at look it up in the etymology, it means to uh, to avenge, you know, or revenge to get revenge. That's what it means. So here it is. If you notice when these guys come at us the way they come at us, we don't do nothing but still stick to the doctrine. We don't go on you niggas personal figure you you Jake's social security out your real government names. We don't do none of that childish stuff because it ain't about us. You know? So we don't play that, um, we don't play that 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 game of of, of like ele it's elementary school game. All we do is get straight to the scriptures on you. We don't care to know who you are personally and what you do in your spare time. We just wanna we just want Jake to follow the right way to go as it is written in the Kings King Solomon prayed if, if all these people put down their idols put down all their wickedness and face this place and, and pray that Yahweh Shemal Shai will hear from heaven and deliver us so you know of course we, we have the understanding of the, the, the elect we're trying to gather the elect man that's what we on the gathering of the elect so when we go in, when we go against these jakes and tell them what the deal is concerning the scriptures, it ain't a personal shot. But what, what these jakes do, they get personal all up on us. They're putting your, your government, blasting the apostles' government name out in different countries. Putting pictures up. Now you got people, you know, that one post that went around of that girl talking about keep your man, keep your... um. Your nine-year-old daughter's away from men of J GMS, man. And then, and then it's like a with them with y'all. It's like a, something funny. Like what's funny about that? It's funny to y'all. But nigga, let it let it be done to you though. And see how these how they, how Jake be having his fucking uh like they say panties in a bunch. Jake could be all out of out of character. But what, what, what it is, we, we've just simply kept it in the scriptures. Even after y'all have truly tried to ruin our reputation. And you actually have ruined our reputation in the sight of many. Brethren have lost um, their livelihoods, their jobs. Brethren have lost women. Certain brethren parents that, that got whiffed of it started despising their, their, their own children. Brethren who have women, they're, they're, his woman parents seen it and start despising her son-in-law. When in actuality, we ain't raping nobody or graping nobody. 
No, we simply explain to you when you go to Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter, the Heavenly Father gave you scenarios that take place with amongst men and how to deal with it concerning rape. Concerning rape. That's what we did. We broke it down for you. And the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father explains in one of the scenarios that if you, if, uh, if a woman is found and she get raped, the man takes the woman and she's not betrothed, then she has to pay the father a certain amount of money. Why, why the Lord didn't say that? Why didn't the Lord say for every single scenario, um, all those type of different great scenarios, every single man get put to death. Why he didn't, why he didn't say that for all of them, but for one of them, he said, you got to pay the, the father a dowry. That's all we explained. And then we told you that according to the scriptures, you become a woman at the moment that you have your period. When you have your period, the Heavenly Father is indicating to men that this woman can have a child. She could bring forth children in the earth. And that's what we told you. That's when a woman becomes a, a, a girl, goes from a girlhood to a woman. That's what we explained. And then here it is. Here it comes. All the slander from all you, you jakes out there. Slandering the hell out of us, man. You know? And what we what we do? We just took it. We took it. We defend we 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 defended ourselves scripturally and took it. None of us got brought up on charges or cases in Esau's world or nothing. But over the years, these same guys who've been claiming that we've been doing all this wickedness. They're getting put up on charges. And that's the Heavenly Father showing Jake that whatever a man sow, he gonna reap. Y'all said all of that, and then here it is, you dealing with the charges. You dealing with murder charges. You dealing with dudes getting caught up with trainees. You know? Y'all y'all the ones getting put up on all these weird ass charges. But see over here at Great Millstone, man, the, the real brethren amongst us, because you got a lot of a piece of crap niggas in Great Millstone, and you know who you are. But over here at Great Millstone, man, we just try to keep it raw 100% to the, to the scriptures. That's it. All this other stuff, man, it don't, it don't matter to us, man. Our personal lives and how, it don't matter. We know the the, the, the prayer of, of, of um, Yahweh Shai told the disciples to pray, the Most High, so he's going to give us our daily bread and he's going to take us, take care of us, keep us from the evil. You know? And that's how we move him. Slack, brothers, hold on. Let me drink this little water real quick. That's how we move him, man. But it's fine because, like, like the title says, Yabba Shemel Shai, he's going to be the one that's going to vindicate us. It's the Lord that's going to vindicate us. And we're going to see very soon. <laughs> A lot of you J's, y'all finna get molded. Watch watch when after this whole little IUIC stuff boiled down. Watch what, start, what, what the Heavenly Father start pulling out of his, uh, his judgment hat. Because all you niggas getting caught up with that, that uh, false phoniness that's coming from IUIC right now. You know, all of you is getting caught up in it, you know, but the real men of the Lord, we seeing right through that shit. We see right through it, right through it. <laughs> and we're going to wait for y'all by Shemar Shah's vindication of us. Because here it is, man. We live honest lives, man. We do the work y'all by Shemar Shai. And a lot of us been around a lot longer for than a lot of them niggas in IUIC. Or in these other camps. You know, we feared the Lord. And when nobody was around, we was doing what we're still doing what the Lord said to do. We was and still doing what the Lord said to do. We fear the Lord, man. You know, and then these jakes like just like the the the, the elder brother, man, Kazak said, you niggas, you niggas have more love for Kyrie Irving, Kanye West, and all these different celebrities than you have for your own brother that's teaching Israel, man. And that's a cold sin because that's real. 
And that's why, hey, through the spirit and power of y'all about child, we're going to just continue to wait on the Lord. And he's going to vindicate us. He's going to revenge us of you niggas. And you niggas going to be looking mad and sad because it was us who the Lord was dealing with. And it wasn't y'all. You know? So, hey, man, through the spirit and power of y'all about Shemel Shai, man, um, just wanted to talk about the Lord going to vindicate us and just, just give my little two cent on it, man. Because you got a lot of these niggas right now, they 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 own one against us. But it's all good, man. The Lord going to vindicate us. It's real, the real men. And you niggas know the Lord is with us. You niggas deep down inside, you know. But you try to cover it up with hate. You niggas hating. No, nah, nigga, you niggas know. All right? You know, and for you ignoring ignoring that sense of doing right, y'all about Shemel Shah, he going to jack you up, man. Hey, y'all about Shemel Shah, Bucket Thumb, I can step, show him.